Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Nuala Black and of course this is Foxy at 50. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today it's all about Saturday Night Glamour, my absolute favourite. I'm putting an end to the myth that we can't wear dramatic makeup once we turn 50. I mean, I think Joan Collins looks amazing and she certainly didn't curtail her dramatic look. Um, and to be honest, I think that we can often look tired and washed out um, if we try to go too much for the natural look or what we're supposed to look like as we get older. So today I'm doing a dramatic eyes and red lips. And the reason is because for a long time, I also just fell into that trap of thinking that I couldn't have dramatic eyes and red lips. And I refused to wear red lipstick because I just thought it was aging. And uh, yeah, as I say, definitely wouldn't wear it with dramatic eyes. Um, I now think that's just a load of nonsense, uh, but you can see what you think for yourself when I'm done. Um, so I've already prepped my skin and I've applied foundation. Uh, I'll list the products that I'm using um, in the box, but you know, don't get too hung up on thinking that you, you, you need to use the exact same products that I'm using. Um, just whatever's closest or if you want to treat yourself to some new makeup then great but I, I will explain what everything is. So let's begin. Um, so I'm starting off with um, doing some highlighter just under the brow bone and I've got a Charlotte Tilbury um, palette. As I say I will put the um, colours and everything I'm using in the description box but um, there's the palette and I'm just using the highlighter there. It's not white, I normally do use white, um, it's sort of a cream colour um, so I thought that might blend a little bit better. So just under the brow bone goes on really nice and that's all we need to do for that little bit. Uh, now I'm going to do the eyebrows. Eyebrows are extremely important if you're trying to uh, keep a youthful look. Uh, you need to have nice broad defined uh, brows. I get mine tattooed because then I get the shape that I want but I still fill them in and I always fill them in with a powder. I mean I can actually use this Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm just going to use the dark brown just to fill um, them in a little bit. If you're lucky enough to have really great eyelashes, then all you need to do is to just um, get them groomed. But mine are sparse and just a bit here and a bit there, and they've always been like that. Got worse at menopause. Uh, so for me, tattooing was a godsend. And don't be bogged down with getting your eyebrows identical. Mine will never be. And they do say they should be sisters, not twins, which is very good in my case. Because they'll never be identical. But then they're not to begin with, so I don't think you need to hold yourself to that. So there's the eyebrows done which look a bit ridiculous when you haven't got your makeup, uh, your eye makeup pond on. So, but don't worry about that because they just will look a bit too dramatic to begin with. So, um, so now I'm going to, still with my Charlotte Tilbury um, palette, I'm going to uh, apply the second one, this sort of very light, uh, well, beige color, for want of a better description. I'm putting that just over um, the crease and up to my brow, my highlighter. And I'm also going to put it a little bit on the lid. Just the whole of the eye really. 
not going over my highlighter, of course, on the brow bone. Sorry if you're hearing any noise of school children playing, but the schools have, uh, have gone back and um, they're just outside my window. So that's my nice sort of beigey. And of course, never forget to um, blend. Get a nice little brush over. Excellent. So now we've got the, we're going to do the highlight and the corners. So um, nice, cheap and cheerful NYX um, pencil crayon. And I'm just going to do my white corners there. And then I will, of course, blend that a little bit. We can go over that once we've put our other colours on just to see um, how bright we want that to be. So next I'm going to do um, the lash line here and I'm going to do the crease with the same colour. Uh, what's important here is the brush that I think, um, well, what I think is the brush is very important. Uh, and this particular brush, um, it's accurate, but it's really soft. So when I want to do eyeshadow along here, um, I haven't got any harsh lines. And also because I've got lines on the crease of my eye, uh, by using this nice soft brush, I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called, um, but I won't get any harsh lines. Um, I often do if I don't use this. So um, back to my Charlotte Tilbury palette, keeping it easy. I'm just using the third one here. Um, it's the, a dark brown. And if you just softly go along the bottom, you get that nice um, eyeshadow just coming underneath without it looking as though it's an eyeliner. Just nice and soft. And I want to keep the same effect on the crease. Just nice and easy. I will of course blend in a moment. Okay, so here's my, not that one. And we're just going to blend that now. Try not to get the dark colour too much on the actual lid. We're not looking for it to be there. A little fluff. We can see that that's looking a little bit bright, so you can just use your fingers. But we're going to put another colour on there, so we'll wait and see how we go with the other colour. And if you're like me, the colour tries to stay in different little pockets 
and you just have to sort of go over it. Just to keep it even. But don't worry about, again, the two eyes being identical. They never will be. And then I've got NYX again. And um, this is a super little colour. Um, and I'm just going to apply that now on the lid. I'm trying not to go to the end because I'm going to have another colour there. You can see that. You can actually do that with your finger if you prefer, but just dab. Okay, so now it's starting to blend with the corner highlighter a bit better. more just down here and you can keep coming back to it apply a little bit more as you add other colors and because you can see then what it needs and what it doesn't need okay so then um, I'm going to do um, just to really contrast that and really show up the lovely um, frosted colours there. I'm going to use a really dark brown. It's just a number seven. It's um, it's just really dark brown. With it's, It has got tiny little gold particles in it, but I'm not sure that you can ever really see them. But it's a very, very dark brown. So I'll just get my brush for that. And I'm just going to apply it at the very corners. What I'm also going to do is go along the lash line with this one. So I've got my eyeshadow that's softer and further down and then just try not to use an eyeliner. I mean you can use an eyeliner but this looks slightly um, softer while still having that dramatic look. Those school children are having a good time anyway. <laughs> Can you hear them? Okay, so let's do a little bit of um, blending to see how um, that's going. And I always just like to use my finger and just do that. Okay, so we can come back to that and add a bit more. I'll just add a little bit more now once we've finished the rest.
Okay, excellent. So now I've got my eyeliner. Um, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury again. It's called Bedroom Black, so it really is lovely and black. And I always go on the um, waterline of the top lash. And you can see now how the eyeliner is really showing up the white corners. And then um, it's up to you if you want to go on the um, lower line. It's still a dramatic look if you don't, but I think I'm going to just go for it. And then to be a little bit more exact with the corners, I'm going to get a liquid liner. Who's this? Bourgeois. And just go really define the corners. Um, mascara, got to have a bit of mascara, and uh, who's this, Green People Volumizing, so that's nice, Green People, and I've actually found that it's a really good mascara as well. I don't have any affiliations with any of these, it's just all my makeup in my drawer. I like lots of mascara, so I just keep going with the with the uh, coats until I think it's enough. But making sure that I keep separating because obviously you don't want it clogged. And if you get a decent mascara, then it really shouldn't clog, even as you add layer after layer but keep going in and just separating them. I don't know why I just blew on that mascara. feel a hot flush coming on. So if my whole face starts getting wet looking, that's why. It always does when I do my makeup, always. So quite hard when I'm making a video. Okay, so um, I just would watch the blusher though. I'm going to use a sort of nice creamy peachy pinky colour. Use this by Stilla. And um, I think it's really, really rather youthful. So you can apply it with your fingers, apply it with a brush. I'm just going to use a brush, just get the little apples of your cheeks there and just bring it out. It's 
very warm, very uh, like the, the sun, very um, flattering on mature skin. And then I always add just a little bit on each side, just where the sun would hit. Then a little bit of highlighter back to Charlotte Tilbury and uh, I'm just going to go at the top of the cheekbone and just round just to the bottom of the eye. There we go, can you see that? And then you can just use your finger if you've got a clean one. Just to dab it. So I'm just applying a little bit of powder because um, I am getting rather sweaty looking. And now for our dramatic finish, we have, i um, going to go red. Now if you, if you really can't do the eyes and the lips, then yes, you can go for a lovely soft neutral um, colour. If you've got dramatic lips, it'll still look nice. But I would still watch it. Make sure you put lip liner on, especially if you're using um, a natural look, because you will look washed out even with dramatic eyes. You can look washed out. Um, I don't think you need a lip liner. Um, this is Bourjois again, and the way they um, have made the, the um, applicator, you can use very much as a liner. And then just fill in. And keep the lipstick matte. That will be, uh, again, with dramatic eyes. You can't really afford to go glossy. It will just be too much. So keep the lipstick matte. And if you're looking for ways to get bigger, fuller looking lips, have a look at my other video with the lip plump and the lip liner. And there we have our finished look. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know we're all in lockdown now, uh, but it is still nice to get dressed up on a Saturday night, have a drink and um, put some makeup on. Um, dramatic makeup's not for everybody, but I don't think that you should stop wearing it because somebody says you can't um, given your age. Uh, as I said at the beginning, Joan Collins, she looks amazing and she still has very dramatic makeup. Uh, and I think she looks great. So, um, and if you don't feel like getting dressed up on a Saturday night now during lock time, during lockdown, then just experiment. Use the time to uh, play around with the makeup. Don't get bogged down in, in exactly the colors that I've used. Just use whatever's closest, unless you want to go out and buy some new makeup. And um, let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments in the comments box and uh, or your questions and I will of course get back to you. 
and um, so that's all for today so until the next time I'm Nula Black this is Foxy at 50 uh, stay safe happy healthy and well bye bye